Hello everybody, how are you going? And welcome back to Bloons Out of N6, where I am still yet to realize the full power of a true sun god. As we can see here, it's not even unlocked yet. I'm pretty darn close, being 133,000 of 150, but I want to know how good it is. I've never seen it, I've never done it, and so it has to be logs. But I never really know where to start with the logs because it's all basically the same thing anyway. And so maybe just a little bit more out of the way on that corner instead, and she should be fine for many rounds to come. What I will be wanting though, is of course the super monkey to be able to get my XP up and banana farms out the wazoo. But hey, there we go. Finally got my first banana farm down. Of course, nothing has snuck through because Sora is perfect in that regard. I could go ahead and look at getting a druid and all the things that come along with that or maybe even a merchant man, but I don't really think that I do. I'll just get increased production and then greater production in mere seconds. And I've just been thinking about who do I want to be getting because I could go ahead, like I said, and get a druid or a sniper and anything like that, a merchant man, buccaneer, plenty of options, even a flying fortress for goodness sake. That would be fantastic. But I am needing a and knowing that I need a super monkey in the next few rounds to be trying to get this XP up nice and early to just ensure that I unlock true sun god, getting my next 15,000 XP by the time that I can actually afford it, which is going to be quite a while away. My goodness, that is actually what, over $300,000 away. So I better just really knuckle down with my banana farms and get us if nothing else. Speaking of, I can grab another one and actually fit it in nicely. The fact that Sorter is still able to keep up with everything coming out at around 25 is insane. Yes, she is now level five, but she's only level five I guess the glue gunner is doing his thing and it's set on strong but it's barely doing anything and so with 1700 nearly 1800 dollars I could get another banana farm and I think I might as well I mean I think next off I will just be looking at putting a druid right in here so I guess I could do it now or I could do it once these guys fully upgraded of which I think I should be able to afford because I'm making plenty of money plenty fast Alrighty then, look at that, round 26 is down, now onto round 27 with a bit of red and then a bit of blue and then everyone on from there, it will be fine. Sorta is so able to slice and dice everything that comes out, it's completely perfect. And then I guess the only thing that I'm yet to encounter in a fine way will be leads. I can use her ability for that, or I think it is about time that I do look at getting that druid. I will put it in range of all the banana farms, just right there. I guess I could have maybe done a little bit better, but that will be fine. And then druid of the jungle, in mere moments, even though I can't get it right this second, it will be fine. I would just use the ability instead. There we go. Done. I think is finally getting to the point where I should be getting a super monkey before I leave it any later, or honestly, too late. How do I want to be playing this? I could put it right in the corner there. Super monkey, bit of a buccaneer, sub, all those kind of things. So... Yeah, that'll be fine. If I go Super Monkey right on this corner for now, it should allow me long-term plenty of options. Sub on this corner to reveal all, so to say. And there we go. A bit of, I don't know which path I want. I guess I'm going top path, but do I want it first? I mean, I guess to be honest, if I do make enough money, and I at this rate definitely will, I could get Plasma or even just Laser, and that should also eat through the Moab just fine as well. I just don't want it to be sneaking through, considering I already have seven banana farms. They're just completely overcapitalizing on that. But hey, round 39 is going to be an absolute breeze. I will go ahead and grab laser blasts and I can get plasma blasts as well. And so I might as well. Look at that, $500 or $600 remaining. I mean, of course, for that money, I could have gone ahead and got monkey pirates, but it will be fine. I've got plenty of money literally banging down the door. I will play it, grab what, uh, $1,500, get super range because I can and go from there. Use Sorter's ability. Nothing's going to be getting through this. Nothing even to worry about. And so it is about time that I just go back onto auto start and just absolutely start raking in. I need all these banana farms to be making me about probably a hundred thousand dollars over the next 40 rounds. Oh, but I do want more, or I will want more camo in the form of, I guess, advanced intel, some merchant support. There we go. Now everyone can see everything. Whoa, would you look at that already onto round 50? I've just been so engrossed in just upgrading all these banana farms that I'm not even paying attention because I don't really need to. I can't even see the entire first start of their track, but look at that. Just continuing on with my banana plantations, nearly up to all of them now, which to be honest is a little bit of a an overloaded banana. It is such a constant stream, it's a bit hard to keep track of. And so I'm just gonna take it off order start and just collect my entire thing here. Here we go, monkey pirates, just so I don't have to worry about anything whatsoever. And then who else needs something? Ah, the druid. Yeah, heart of thunder, just to put the mind at ease. However, as soon as I can get my third banana resource facility in mere moments here, there we go, three out of eight, is it eight, nine, whatever it is, that is now going to be plenty for the mere moment here, as I just want to be investing a little bit more into my damage aspect. I've got a few towers, but the balloons are starting to get a little 
little bit further than I would like them. And at least it's logs, so they have to go past everyone about 60 million times. So I guess it just does come down to who is going to be best for the super monkey. And also if that super monkey is even going to be the one that I inevitably sacrifice to the temple. Because I've already given it epic range. And I don't really want to be doing that if I want to be just making it not invalid the entire track. I mean, I'm not trying to be some completely ridiculous optimized round 2000 kind of game mode. But I've just never seen what the kingpin of the entire game, the super monkey, basically the entire imagery around this, I've never seen its maxed out tower. I've seen the temple, but even then I barely got a sniff out of it. So I guess the question now does become, how do I want to be playing my money? Because I could afford now two more banana research facilities with the 50-ish grand that I have, but is it worth it? Do I need to just be starting to save up now? Am I going to get completely overrun in the rounds here? Do I need to be spending it on sun avatars? So many questions that I don't know when to be spending what. I mean, even the fact that I guess probably saving up for a sun temple, given the fact that it's 108, wouldn't be a bad idea, and all of its accessories, so to say. I mean, I guess I did talk about getting the Pirate Lord, but now I'm just wondering, there's only a couple of rounds left, and a lot of money on the screen, and so can I get a Sun Temple before the end of round 80? That would be a serious thing to see. To be honest though, after a little bit of deliberation, I'm going, you know what, if I'm going to do it, I'm going to go fully maxed out, and so that means not rushing it. Yes, I can't afford it right now, but I make enough money to afford it probably by around 90 or so, and so we should be fine. I just have to make another 150 grand. I can just, there we go, grab a whole boatload of banana and wait for this guy to come out. Really start to hammer away. As soon as he breaks down, I will be making sure just to eat one of them up, and that will be that. Round 80 will be complete, and I can play it on fast just to make this entire thing go a little bit smoother. Alrighty then, well, I've just been making my way downtown, just getting every single person ready for the ultimate sacrifice to the Sun Temple. I believe I've got virtually everything I need in terms of the magic department and the military department is just finally finishing off the support node sorry the primary tower because i'm skipping support and that will be in the form of probably a mild domination yes it's a little bit more than i need but hey i'm sure we'll be fine we can see right here that there is so much money in the form of bananas just being sold as well as ability just to take everyone down that i should be fine before round 90 which the fact that i've made basically or literally hundreds of thousands of dollars in me rounds is pretty outrageous look at this already back up to 200 grand before round 90 but i guess i'm only now one round away from round 90 and yes i was trying to get it for around 80 but this is going to be a much better result waiting until round 90 and maxing it out hopefully as much as i possibly can within my own limitations it will be much much better and so with around 89 now done i believe that is everyone under the sun so to say accounted for i have 50,000 or I should have $50,000 of each and I will double, double, triple, quadruple check it before I just press go. But I still don't know. I don't want super range right now, but do I want ultra vision to be able to see it or can I just village it after the fact? Because I feel as though I tried to village it the first time and it didn't work for some reason, unless I just stuffed it up. I can't remember. My memory is a little bit foggy on it regardless. At least I will have plenty of money to be able to afford it because it's only 108,000. And so here we go. I'll double check it and we'll go for it. Well then, I can now confirm or at least the calculator says so that the only addition was this one little sniper monkey as I was slightly short of the militaries, but I believe that everyone should be accounted for now. Like I said, I'm still not sure where I want to be going, but I don't believe it matters right now because I can get it later. And so Sun Temple is and should be about to be acquired. So here we go. It has first, it only has 21 and a half thousand, but that should be about to change. Temple Sacrifice, do it. That is of course the second time it did take the monkey sub, and now I should be able to afford, or at least I literally can afford, to be also getting a village and all the good things that are required wide as well as it. Can I not fit you anymore? That is fine. Well, I guess I'll also just grab a bit of you just to make sure that everyone can see what they needs to be seeing again. Some merchant support, bit of that, bit of that, still 50 grand, so much on the horizon, and like I said, just a village, just to make sure that this guy is down for the count. So I can go ahead now and get super range and get epic range. Look at that, especially on a map like Logs, that is outrageous, and still having 44,000. Now comes the time, I guess I should also get MIB just to be sure of everything, but now comes the time, the really long slog to saving up another a bit of XP first, but then another 250,000. Oh no, it's well more. How did I? I thought it was 300k. No, it's 540k. 
Let's go in for the long haul. Hey, there we go. Look at that. Finally have the upgrade available for the super monkey. True sun god. Here we go. I will go ahead and unlock it. Sadly, it's still a very long way away before I can actually get it. But 548 XP, that is all we had left. Of course, Legend of the Night is still not got. But for now, he can just be, I guess, kind of an eclipse. He can just wait in the shadow of the sun. Let's just see how much damage this guy can do and how quickly he gets taken out. I mean, I could take it out with a bit of a pirate lord, but I really do not need to. Look at that. Absolutely absolutely shredded. Not as fast as I'm expecting it to be, to be honest. Look at that. I feel as though even something like the Flying Fortress could have done a better job. Finally enough, all of a sudden we are basically right on top of it. Oh, and there we go. The banana farms have just pushed me over. I can now technically afford the true sun god, but that's not what I'm going after. I'm going after a max true sun god, which then will require another 50 or I guess 200 grand. I guess actually I should probably just check Actually, take it off auto start. There we go. I should actually just check how much have I already spent because I've got the pirate lord, I've got the alchemist, and so with a couple more upgrades to the super monkey and whatnot, I should have most of what I need. Even the supports covered majorly in terms of just absorbing all those banana farms. So let's just have a little look see. It'll take a sec though. Well, what can I say? The calculator, unless it's lying, has told me that everything here should amount to $50,000 at least of everything that I've got and I need, and I've still got enough money for the true sun god. The only thing that I'm a little bit worried about that of course it will also absolve the monkey village and so I just have to make sure that I've got enough money to get radar scanner back and I believe I do and so there's no time like the present I guess so true sun god for the first time I mean of course other people have seen it but I've never seen it I've never seen the true power of the true sun god let alone all the vengeful dark sun god and everyone like that but for now this will do for me do I wish to summon the true sun god yes I do do it there we go it Oh, I don't know if it, it didn't absorb as many banana farms as I expected it to. So I'm not sure if this is maxed or not. I thought it would at least grab these two. Look at that. It's so hard to tell. And I wish it told you with some kind of outline if it was going to or not. Regardless, I will just go ahead and, oh, that village has even got it on itself. So here we go. Bigger radius and just make sure that I can grab everything that I need to. It should be fine and I guess with the banana farms I will also be able to grab MIB immediately anyway but look at that four flying fortresses and sort of was also able to stay clear of the UV coming off of that sun there we go well then let me just quickly grab all of that and make sure that I can just grab MIB before anything goes to astray I will also just grab an alchemist and just go back up to what it's really required of it actually I think I also did hear that you want another sun temple to be taking up and helping this true sun god I don't know why I don't know what for and if Everyone is just stacking up over there, so maybe it'll stack him up there. But as long as I don't just take out the true sun god, I should be fine. Don't even know, does permanent brew stay permanent as long as the tower's there? Or is it permanent as terms of the word? Regardless, I can basically get all the way up already. Now, I don't believe that this sun temple is required to be maxed or anything like that, but I might as well just give it a little bit of love. Here we go. Give it a couple of wizards, a couple of, I don't know, boomerang monkeys, and we'll call it a day, hey? Hang on a second. Why did I go ahead and get any of the wizard monkeys? I just already have a 64,000 dollar alchemist that I'm sure is about to just go bye bye as well if I mean if it can take the true sun god out just being a temple which is ridiculous but if it can happen it's definitely going to take the alchemist out regardless a sun temple will be it hopefully you don't take yes that's what I didn't want you to be taking is a true sun god that would have been absolutely devastating but if I just position this where both people and all people can see it then that will be much much better just going all the way back up to MIB before something drastically bad happens as well as an alchemist just because we love them they're so good I also want to see is it still no so permanent isn't permanent as long as permanent is permanent. Hang on a second though, already made me $90,000, now $95,000. No wonder this second temple was so easy just to be getting. I mean, it's only on around 140 and I would love to know how much cash I've generated because that's outrageous between the banana farms and the temple, they are going off. To be fair though, that bad isn't getting taken out as fast as I feel as I've previously taken out. Yes, there's only two towers or about five towers on the screen, but still, I feel as though there is way more money that I've ever spent previously and it's not taking it out as fast as it feels like it previously has. And I'm honestly torn because on one hand I want to see how far can a true sun god get on its own, but on the other hand I don't want to get rid of everyone and just slow the entire process down as I don't think that what is coming out now would be enough to take it out. I just think that it might take a few extra seconds per round and uh, that would stack up over another 100 rounds. And so I just want to be trying to play the balancing game about how far can a true sun god get, but also just help it get to its end goal in the first place. 
how do they have so much health? I mean, yes, it's around 160 or 170, but those zombs even just, just stood in the line of fire for such a long time, maybe about around 180. I will go ahead and delete everyone but the true sun god just to see how much damage it truly can do on its own because I'm seeing that it's done 65 million pops and it's still climbing rapidly, but these balloons are getting pretty darn fast and I want to see, can it cover everything by itself? And sadly, that does mean that Sorta has to go as well with her three and a half million. She's been doing wonderfully for me and I will make a boatload of money back, but how far can that big old head go? That is so much plasma and plasma in the true sense. None of that pink stuff. No, true sun plasma, the realest of them all. Besides the tokamak, you're not getting plasma like that anywhere. I actually think that I'm going to do it at the end of this round and lower than when I delete it to around 175. And it's yes, because it's taking a very, very long time, but that feels like it's taking a long time because honestly, these balloons are getting so, so, so much faster. The ever faster they get, the ever further they get as well. They are honestly getting all the way to the boom monkey and I'm wondering without everyone else's help sort of the homeland defense and everything like that how far could this sun god hold them off for and so I will take it off all to start just so I can give the computer a rest and we shall see how much money one first I make at the end of this round and two how far do they get in the end of this round or next round all right then so if I sell everyone that I was just giving a little bit of help to the engineer monkey at seven and a half million that is pretty insane ice monkey 1.5 ice monkey 200 but then sadly as we know the best investment of the lot being only about $500 not about a million 500 and getting 5 million pops it is her time to go as well I guess the banana farms can stay because why not? I don't really need the money though, so you know what? I will just get rid of them. It is time to see nothing on the board besides the true sun god and their auxiliaries. There we go. Almost a million. The sun god will also continue to make me money. And let's just see. How does round 175 fare with a couple of super duped up champion sentries that will eventually disappear? And this, is it going to take it out? I honestly think it will. There we go. Wow. Well, it shows you the difference that just a few extra towers can make between Sorta, the Ice Towers, a bit of everyone else, even the Sniper Monkey over sure was just doing its bit. That is truly what it takes to be able to be even around 175. There is no tower that can do it all. Even though that is basically doing it all, it takes it in all in. It takes all the supports and the primaries and the militaries and magics. Nah, you can take it all in, but you need a helping hand.